welcome to Katie and Baking Online. Sticking with our Easter theme, today I'm going to show you how to create these ever so cute Easter bunnies. So today we're going to be using some white fondant, some pink, a little bit of brown fondant, a little bit of green, uh, some edible glue or some water is just fine. Our ball tool, but if you don't have one of those, the end of a paintbrush is absolutely fine. To make the bunny's body, take some of your white sugar paste and roll it into a ball. Everything in sugar face starts off with a ball. And then just gently roll your fingers on the top edge to make it egg shaped. So that's gonna work to be his body. Once you've got that nice egg shape, you can pop that down and that's gonna start be the start of your bunny rabbit. Next, we're going to work on his feet. So take a little bit more of your paste and you're going to make two little oval shapes. So take your fondant, roll it into a smaller ball, and just push between your fingers to make it flat, and squeeze the end to make it that sort of oval shape, teardrop shape. We need two of those. Now we're going to add his little pink feet, so take some of your pink fondant, roll them again into little balls, and just push them gently into his feet. You can use your fingers if you're, you could use a ball tool if you wanted to. Attach his feet to his body using a little bit of water or edible glue. And then stand him up. And see so he's starting to come together with the little feet. To make his arms, take a little bit of sugar paste, roll it into a ball and then elongate it with your fingers into a sausage shape, making sure that one end is slightly wider than the other, and that's gonna create his arm. And then all you need to do is using your glue or your water, just stick it to the side of his body. Like that. You'll need to make two of these. To make his head, take a piece of your paste and roll it into a ball. If you're not sure the size that you need, put it on your bunny and see if it looks right. To make his muzzle, take two little pieces of sugar paste and make them into round balls. Flatten them between your fingers like a smarty and attach to the front of his face. To make his nose and his tongue, you need a tiny piece of your pink paste. No bigger than that really, roll it into that ball and pinch it between your finger to get it into a slight triangle shape. Adding a bit of water or edible glue. A little bit there and a little bit there. And one piece will be his nose. And then make another little piece to create his tongue at the bottom. To make his eyes, take your ball tool or the end of your paintbrush and just push two little holes up either side of his nose and add a small amount of brown sugar paste into those holes that we've just made. And then just pop them in with your ball tool or your paintbrush. Attach your bunny's head using a little bit of edible glue or water and gently popping it on the top like so. So next we need to make his ears taking a bit of your paste, rolling it between your hands, and then just rolling your finger at the edge to make a rounded sausage shape. Pinch the bottom so you get a large teardrop shape. And then do the same with the pink, but slightly smaller. And then simply push the pink into the white to create an ear. You need two of these. Attach your bunny's ears to his head by making small holes with your ball tool where you want your ears to be. Adding a little bit of water or edible glue to those holes and then positioning the ears onto his head. Hold them there for a little bit so they're stuck and then maybe twist the end one so it just curls over at the end. To 
create his tail, take a little bit of your white sugar paste, roll it into a ball, and just stick it to the back with your edible glue or your water. Just to finish our bunny, we're going to give him a bow tie. So take some of your green sugar paste, roll it into a ball, squish it between your fingers to make it a smarty, and pinch the ends to make it a pizza shape. You want to make two of these and finish it off with another little bit of paste rolled into a ball and placed in the middle to make his bow tie. You can then attach that to your bunny, either under his neck or on his ear, depending on where you want it to be. And here is our completed Easter bunny.